Welcome back to Crepe Myrtle Journals. I wanted to share with you my haul of lace. This was a gift from someone. This is the box she gave it to me in. This is from a 92 year old grandmother who um, did a lot of crafts that involved lace. And I looked at it just briefly, not the whole thing, just a couple pieces, but I wanted to show, share it with you. Um, this is what happens sometimes when people hear that, I'm gonna cut this tape off of the box. When people hear that you are making junk journals, sometimes you will get people giving you things, especially if they know you, you want something vintage or, but this friend gave me this pile of old lace. And each piece is very uh, detailed. It's very old. And I did have a, I wanted to ask you guys, it smells a little bit musty. I mean, it's been in this plastic box, I think, for quite a while. But I wondered if I should attempt to wash it all, maybe hand wash it. I thought about putting it in a mesh bag and running it through the washing machine, but I'm afraid I would regret that if it tends to fall apart. But I just wanted to show you um, just a little bit of, of just how detailed it is. And I believe some of it is very vintage. I mean, I know it's vintage, but I get the impression she may have bought some in England. These are beautiful. I can You can just readily see how, how nice this is going to be uh, on a Christmas journal or a red themed journal or just a... Um, a brightly colored journal but some it does look like they are deconstructed from clothing some of them you can see the stitches and the threads coming off of them but just one little piece of this is like a piece of art like a I am just in awe of it and I just felt like I've received the most wonderful treasure and some things have little price tags on them like this one says 32 inch piece, $2. So, and some of it, it's just tangled in there. I can't even see it all right now. But I wanted to share it with you. It's like you found something, a treasure. And if you're like me, I do watch videos where people find amazing things for junk journals. And I just enjoy them. So this one, wow. Wow. Look at that. Of course, they all have this coffee. Uh, it almost looks like it's been coffee stained. And some are creamier and some are browner. But this one's um, a lighter color. But isn't that absolutely beautiful? So I did think as I use these pieces, it honors the, the lace, you know, it gives it another life, a way to be enjoyed. Um, this definitely looks like it was a part of a piece of clothing. I just wonder, was this part of... Um, tablecloths or you know it'd be neat to go back in time and see what it was a part of this one's so dark brown but I don't think it was originally brown you know I think that's age so I'm afraid to hand wash it if that causes it to fall apart I'm in the middle of a journal. I'm almost finished with one. It has a, it's a, a journal that I had shown briefly when I started it. It's called Flight and Flowers. I had said before it was Flight and Feather, but I've forgotten that my husband suggested Flight and Flowers. This is so amazing to me. It's like a beautiful piece of art. And I'm wondering, was this a machine? Or was this by hand? You know, how old is it? If it's by hand, of course, I'm even more flabbergasted. 
but you can see how it, like if this were put on a journaling card this is just an old file folder but if this were put on a journaling card and um, you can see how it would just be such a beautiful journaling card <laughs> This looks like just a piece cut from something else, which is beautiful by itself. Some are very small pieces. Some are more than a yard. I think this is the same type that I just looked at. But look at that. My To my untrained eye, you know, this looks handmade because it doesn't look perfectly uniform. I mean, the pattern is uniform, but side by side, each one doesn't look perfect. This is like a square pattern that almost looks like gauze. So I'm, I'm wondering whether I should um, hand wash it. Just like you would do something uh, gently, a piece of clothing that you would hand wash. <laughs> Here's a tiny piece. And this, this looks familiar. This uh, type of lace looks familiar. I wonder if Something in childhood, like a tablecloth, had this design on it. Oh, that little flower is kind of like um, raised. Each one is like a teeny tiny pocket that has, is that fuzz? It's like fuzz in each little tiny pocket. I wonder if that was um, a dimensional... You know, yeah, each one has a puff of cotton in it, I guess, to add a 3D dimension to it. Oh, how interesting. That might have just gotten pulled out. Um, but each one, you can see on the back, has little tufts of cotton in the bud or the flower to make it puffy in 3D. That is so neat. <gasps> This looks like it could have been a doll dress or something like a this looks like it could have been the waist oh you know I've been working on some paper dolls and these would be beautiful as the dresses or skirts part of the paper doll each one of these little flowers looks like it's suspended in the oval just suspended in that oval just by a few stitches So this little snippet here has a price tag on it. So it must have been bought in a charity shop or um, thrift store. It says $3. Of course, it could have been longer when it was purchased. I have found lace at thrift stores, but it pales in comparison to the complexity and beauty of these pieces. And this is feels like a relatively small box, but look how much lace it is. This makes me think of uh, curtains that we had in Germany. I grew up in Germany. And this pattern kind of reminds me of a pattern in Germany. <laughs> oh my word. How beautiful. This one's pretty long. This is a little trim. That would look neat as a belly band. This 
This looks like it is torn off of something larger, but oh how pretty and light and airy. This is definitely cut off of something else. Wow, that does look hand sewn. If you see those stitches here on the back, right there, that looks like this piece of lace was layered on top of another piece of lace. <laughs> this definitely looks like the edge of a curtain. That's, this feels like the hem. Oh yeah, I can see where the hem is. Sometimes I have to look at both. Okay, this is the right side. Are those stitch lines? I can't tell. Also can't tell which like they it's hard to tell which is the front, I think this is. Looks like there is some rolled up on cardboard. It's got some gold through it. Nine or ten yards. <laughs> and under here is oh, this will be Good to wrap. It looks like eyelet. There's another one of those spools down there. looked so interesting. This is a very firm hard piece. Oh, I see. I wonder if this is like a collar. Do you see these little ribs? They're very firm. It's like one, two, three ribs and a hook and eye closure. <laughs> but I don't see the other part where those um, eyes would match with hooks. So that either looks like something that was much longer that goes around a waist, but oh my goodness, look at the detail. They look like they're hanging just by little individual threads. So you can see why I feel like I've been given a huge treasure Those look like little spider webs. Oh wow, this does have a hem like a, well I don't know, you know I say it looks like a curtain but for all I know dresses could look like this. Wow, this was, it looks like six 
dollars. I'll use these little tags, of course, for crafting as well. But that's the, I wonder if the piece was originally much bigger, because I can't imagine someone would pay six dollars for that, especially um, in the past. Yeah, this one. Oh, this is very much falling apart, but I guess the little panels in between can be used. It's been pretty cut up or torn up or just falling apart, but these little pieces will still make really neat um, embellishments on something. <laughs> wow, there's a big piece of that twined, twined up. Lots of little bits. That's the back side, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this one's falling apart too. Can't tell if it's been cut up or is it just um, falling apart. I'm trying to lay it flat. Oh, wow. My goodness, that is so incredibly beautiful. What does this little price tag say? $10? It looks like it's about... 15 inches long, but I'm just amazed at that spiral design. Let's see. snippet. Oh, how pretty. I'm trying to decide what is the front and what is the back. Some of them have, um, like this one has a neat edge, like it was the edge of something. I think I'm looking it upside down. Oh, how lovely. This is a very big piece. I'm gonna find the beginning of it here. Oh wow. How beautiful. I am going to make myself use these pieces for the joy of it um, and not, you know, our, our tendency is to uh, hoard it for a special event or, you know, special craft, but 
I really want to just use them, so I'm going to try to make myself do that. This is so, oh, this looks like a sleeve. Looks like a sleeve, I believe. I mean, I cannot tell. But you know what, the way that it's, it's hemmed, you could totally see someone sewing it up and making it into a dress for a doll. Here's a folded up piece with a price tag on it. It says five dollars. Wow, they really do look like spider webs. Wow, so detailed. I think I'll set aside these little bits. Let me see if I see any unusual. I mean, they're all to me seem very um, special and unusual, but. Well, this one's a little bit different. So my friend said, I'm giving you this small box, <laughs> but I'm like, this is so, oh wow. And this has color added to it. Oh my goodness, that's so neat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's like uh, sections. Here's one section where some kind of needle point has been added to it. It's one section, two, three, four, five sections of that. I wonder if there's anything else of that's color colorful. Oh my goodness. I just wish I knew some of the stories behind these pieces. Like where they came from. Here's some black thin trim. Oh, how beautiful. Looks like it might have been hmm, straps and something. Oh, how beautiful.
So lots of little bits. Those will be easier to make myself use the little bits on um, journaling cards and little trims. Wow, this is like a double layer of tulle. Oh, I see, it was just folded up. I thought it was made that way, double layers. I'm trying to determine what is the front and what is the back. Oh, how pretty. I bet I could digitize this. Oh, how pretty. I think this grandmother used to make, oh, I can't tell which is the front or back of that. She used to make like, um, and I can remember seeing this when I was a girl, like photo frames that had a cloth, you know, it was cloth was the decoration and then lace all around it. This one says $3. It's got a straight pen in it. How is that attached? Oh, I see. I try to have a hard time figuring how they attach that tag, but it looks like it has a little slit in it. Oh, these are little sections. Neat. Okay, let's see. Lots of small pieces. Fun. Yeah, you can see where she was cutting out bits. Wouldn't that look pretty on a fall? In a fall journal? Whoops, a little fragile. <laughs> Let's see.
with a price tag. Is that a pound symbol? Or a lira? I don't know. I don't recognize that um, money symbol. That one's a little bit different, much denser, thicker. But that does look like hand to me. It doesn't look uniform like a machine. But what do I know? Oh, the back might help. Oh, well, maybe it is a machine. It does Well, I have seen hand stitching that looks precise, of course. Some little bits. Oh, that's a neat star pattern. Oh, wow. Feels br brittle. Oh, each piece is a piece of fabric that has been sewn down. See, that little leafy thing is a piece of fabric. Do you know what I notice about old lace? It feels a lot softer than scratchy lace that, you know, it seems like we'd have collars and edges of dresses that were lace, very scratchy and polyester y. But these have a much softer feel than that. I don't know if it's just age or if it's made differently. I think I've reached almost the end here. But 
you can see what a treasure I got. And just every once in a while, someone will um, find out that I'm making journals and they'll think of me when they get something like this. You know, these little bits I'm finding are going to be very useful because you often use just a tiny bit for some embellishments. Oh, that looks like it has beadwork on it. Oh, neat. You can see some beads there all over that. That's neat. I don't think I've ever seen lace like that. Okay, I think I've reached the bottom of the barrel here. Oh, is that a snap? It's a tiny, but looks like a button. Let's see if I'm in, no, I'm not in a camera, but it looks like a tiny button, but it's a red um, crystal like, but it has four holes like a button on the back. That is so neat. Love to have a whole tray of those. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little show and tell. And um, not everyone, I'm sure, is going to geek out about lace. But some people will who love to make junk journals. I know you'll recognize what a treasure trove I've received. So I hope you've enjoyed this little... Um, display of different laces. Thanks for watching.